Hello, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Before the end of this video, you will understand the sacrifice we are making and the risk we are taking to bring you some of the expositions on this platform. Because we are always the target. We are always the target of the blood-sucking demons in corridors of power in Nigeria. You remember the sex video, the sodomite commissioner in Imo State by name Amadi? They have finally gotten a scapegoat to hide their tracks, to cover their nakedness, and to continue victimizing innocent Nigerians. What am I talking about? I saw this news in leadership newspaper this morning about 20 year old who gets one year sentence over the sex video. I'm going to read it out for you so that you understand where my senior comrade and sister Hilda Dokubo is coming from. Because you're going to listen to her very shortly. But let me read. They said, key suspect and mastermind of the simulated sex video allegedly involving Imo State Public Compliant Commissioner Barrister Willie Amadi has been sentenced to one year imprisonment. By name, Peter Mwoke, a 20-year-old school leaver who was charged to the magistrate court, Isu, holding an Omu Daba Imo State, pleaded guilty. He said the guy pleaded guilty to the one count charge of defamation of character. In charge number MCI slash 2C slash 2021 between Commissioner of Police versus Peter. Okay, the accused in this statement of confession to the police at the Isu Divisional Headquarters said he picked a phone at Owere and left for his place in Isu local government area of Imo State. He disclosed that a day after, when he powered the phone, he got a call from a man who introduced himself as Willie Amadi saying, he was the owner of the phone he was holding. I asked him to come to Omoobo Isu Ubuchi in Isu Njaba local government, Imo State, to collect the phone. And he came, collected, and gave me 40000 Before then, I had transferred some information from his phone to mine, which includes pictures he took in a swimming pool. When he left, Greed and devil came into me. I thought I should make more money from him, seeing his car and realized that he is a big man. I decided to superimpose one of his pictures on a sex background to force him to negotiate settlement with me. You know, I can just follow this um, narrative. When I came, Oh, so, oh, sorry, he said, when I called him severally and he did not pick my calls, I became angry and decided to send the pictures out through the internet. Three days after, I was at a joint, uh, I, I was at a joint with some people when the police arrested me and I was taken to court and I confessed to the act at the police station because I did not even, he said, I did not know that what I will be bringing such problem to me. I don't know what they wrote there. He said, I confessed to the act at the police station because I did not know that what I did will bring such big problem to me. Okay. I begged him and the court and the court to forgive me and promise not to do such again. The court, after listening to the prosecution and guilty plea by the accused convicted sentence, the accused to one year imprisonment of defamation under section 373 
of Criminal Code, Cap C, that eight laws of the Federation 2004, as applicable in a state. <laughs> Let us clap for them. This script was well written, but in a haste to write some of these scripts, these men do not understand how video editing works and the people they are going to tell this charade of a story, knowing them too well. But before I delve into it, eh, I want you to listen to what my senior comrade, Hildas Dokubo, said about this. I don't know how many of you saw that sex video two weeks ago starring a federal commissioner for public complaint in state, Mr. William Addy, and two background actors. At the time, it didn't mean anything. You know, adults had their game. But this weekend, that story took a new turn, a turn that gives concern. A 20-year-old boy has been jailed for 12 months. Oh, for what? Blackmail and deformation of character by way of doctrine, that video. In other words, superimposing a still shot from a swimming pool to a motion shot of a sex scene <laughs> into one. Really, Mr. Madi? I mean, like, how did you get this done? In two weeks, you have identified a suspect, arrested him, investigated the case, arrayed him before a court, gotten judgment, even jailed him for 12 months. In two weeks, in emo state, where to date, the Supreme Court is still deliberating on governorship matters from 2019 elections. Really, what's going on? Are you paying this boy to take this fall on your behalf? Or have you yet again misused your office by abusing it further, by intimidating, bullying, harassing, coaxing, or whatever it is, to get a young 20-year-old to commit perjury in court? With you, a lawyer, sitting complicit, does that not call for your disbarment, Mr. Matty? I started entertainment at the age of eight. I've been in Nollywood. I'm a pioneer of it from 1992. I'm a trained actor, director, casting director, acting coach, producer, director. And I know what I know, Mr. Matty. What this boy is claiming to have done is not doable as today. There is no app to enable him to do that. And if he has to even try any attempt, there has to be a court. But this is a moving shot with no courts. But let's even agree. For you to superimpose, you need a green screen. And you, Mr. Madi, you need to be with that green screen, which makes you part of the conspiracy. So are you? So why don't you just stop the stretching of your lies and do the right thing? Apologize to the people and resign your office, the office that you have so grossly abused. Apologize. Okay, because you're not just a disgrace to yourself. You're a disgrace to yourself, your wife, your family, emo state, and the federal government who found you worthy in the first instance to have. But you know what? The federal government, they have something with the word Photoshop, so you can just keep them and, and run home to your family. Fall on your face and ask your wife to forgive you. If she's lenient, she might just, you know, do that. But please... Don't insult us, okay? Don't insult Nigerians who are from the scratch have built up the knowledge of making and viewing pictures. Do the right thing, Mr. Amade. Take your fall. Now, I am a video editor myself. And I saw the video. The effect 
they are talking about do not exist anywhere in the world of video editing. Just like you that said, this is a complete oas. And they are so much in a hurry to present this analysis before the court. And I must tell you that when you say that a still picture, a still picture is just a picture, not a video, that you now put it on top of the sex video. You can imagine that nonsense in a swimming pool. So, for them to mention still picture, even if they said the guy did um, uh, recorded a video um, uh, in a swimming pool uh, 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 and um, now superimpose that um, video on top of, you need what they call chroma key. And chroma key <laughs> in a video, because that recording was in a video, the guy Amadis was not a still picture, it is a video of him. And if you look at the background, you will see a reflection of him in the mirror recording that video. He was the one that did the recording of the video. If he had done it in the swimming pool, there is no way he will superimpose it because there is no material for chroma key to remove the background. And looking at it, looking at that very video, the man himself did the recording. Now, let me not take you too far. Let me a little bit deviate because sometimes when I wanted to jump into this and start fighting for this young man and our ancestors, you know, the way they minister to me, they said, pause, look at this again. Think from the other side of the whole story. There could be another side of this thing. Apart from the fact that this man will look for somebody to victimize and make a scapegoat out of their wickedness. There is possibility that this boy in question was paid in order to save the face of this man. You know, poverty and hunger can, we have seen this thing happen time and over. Maybe after this charade, the boy will still go back home without going into prison. Things happen in Nigeria, I must tell you that. Just in order to help him keep his job. Because we are already mounting pressure for him to be sacked because of that video. Because he wants to retain his job in order to justify and clear his name and remain in corridors of power to continue perpetuating evil. He had to go all this way. Don't ask me what about the police. Don't ask me what about the judge. Just like she identified Hilda Dodkubo. Immediately, within two weeks, you already rounded up and finished your investigation and came up with this rubbish. In Nigeria, in Nigeria. <laughs> oh, Diego. So I leave you to that. So because of this, I call on people just like um, Dokobo here, Dokobo has mentioned. Where are the churches? Where are the people? Where are the human rights activists? Go and find out what actually transpired. Because when you open it, you will see more than you can ever imagine. I have said my bit, all right? This is what I have got as an opinion. So you have to understand that just they are looking for every day from what we are exposing on this platform to put us down. So you have to appreciate the risk we are taking to bring you some of these things. I've always begged our people, like the update I've got concerning the, um, the people who have donated. I've got a new update that um, we have someone who donated for 4,000 Naira for the said vehicle. And currently we have a total of 234,000 Naira regarding that vehicle raising of funds. That is how much we've been able to raise so far. Somebody donated. 5,000, somebody donated 108,000, and the, the other person donated for 4,000. So, in that account, we have just about 234,273 naira in that account. Okay, so that's the transaction. Um, 
all I can say that we are trying to negotiate with the seller of that vehicle who is also passionate about what we're doing. Um, he said, if we can raise a certain amount of money, like about a million naira, the vehicle can be released to us while we continue the payment. All right. So please buckle up. If we are able to get about a million or a half of the price, we might be able to start, um, you know, they will release the vehicle for us to start the work. There are so many places I need to go, but I can't because of the mobility. This car can't take me far. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Bye-bye for now.